hey guys what is up welcome back or welcome if you are newer to the channel um i'm sipping on a green tea sydney and i went to starbucks real quick this morning um i have this annoying lingering cold that just is just hanging on for dear life so i wanted to go ahead and get some green tea i asked for a couple honey packets as well i haven't put any in there but um maybe that will be nice to have later um so just dealing with a lingering cold unfortunately it's that time of year but i'm relatively fine uh luckily just pushing through um and sydney is officially on february break from school so she's home all week you could probably hear her she's doing homer on her tablet right now it's an educational game on her tablet while she's eating lunch um so what I'm gonna do today is meal prep food prep like a healthy food prep video just to clear up the schedule a little bit I want to be able to spend this week doing fun things with Sydney possibly go to the movie theater you know sledding outside if it snows in a couple of days we're gonna have like a play date and whatnot and also um you know mama wants to be able to rest a little bit um so that's what we are doing today I want to go ahead and prep for the week we have on the agenda um I'm gonna do a crock pot minestrone soup that I need to immediately do it's already one o'clock, but it doesn't take a whole lot of time. So I'm going to do a crock pot minestrone soup. We're going to do some pe stuffed peppers this week, possibly like a baked uh, ziti type of thing. And then we're going to do just some healthy prep otherwise, like produce. Um, I want to make hard boiled eggs, possibly egg salad and smoothie things. So just all of the prep today. So one of the things that I love prepping ahead of time is chia pudding. It is so easy to do. I do one quarter cup dry chia seeds and about a cup of, I usually do vanilla oat milk, but you can do whatever milk of your choice. Um, and then you mix it up really good and store it in the fridge overnight. And it becomes this thick pudding consistency that you can put on top of yogurts and smoothies. Um, and it's just a really good source of fiber and Sydney loves it too. And I would usually do about a tablespoon of the chia pudding on top of some yogurt with fruits and maybe slivered almonds. Um, and Sydney enjoys it that way too. I've also done a chocolate chia pudding version with some whipped cream with um chocolate oat milk and that is an absolutely delicious like treat as well um the next thing i am prepping are some overnight oats my go-to flavor is peanut butter banana combo and these are just a nice quick grab and go breakfast my uh, favorite way of doing these is rolled oats with a little bit of peanut butter i happen to have that honey packet that i got for my tea so i put in just a little bit of honey for sweetness i have um chia seeds in here, flax meal, and as well as some hemp hearts. Um, these are really good for your heart as well, nice and full of protein and fiber. Um, and then I mix everything up, top it with oat milk, and that's just enough, enough to cover. And then I leave this in the fridge overnight. And then in the mornings, I usually add fresh sliced bananas, and it is just a nice little uh, treat, and Sydney and I both enjoy it. Another breakfast I love prepping ahead of time are pancakes. I happen to have these uh, Kodiak protein pancake mix just right in my pantry and I've memorized the recipe as all it is is adding water to the mix and um, I like to freeze these and to have a nice like quick uh, breakfast for Sydney something special so I went ahead and made a batch of these on my newer griddle uh, this one is a grill griddle combo so this is my first time using it I've also frozen them with fruit in them I've also done some spinach and blended it in the blender and 
homemade green pancakes, which Sydney enjoys. Um, and I just love having these in the freezer most of the time for a nice, quick grab and go breakfast. Can you tell so far I've only prepped breakfast ingredients? Um, and that way, you know, mornings are nice and fast um, and I don't have to worry about things. So since I had my grill griddle combo um, out and heated up already, I wanted to go ahead and grill up some chicken. I bought wraps for the week, so I figured we could have, you know, cold grilled chicken in a wrap or we can have it on a salad or something. I am one who does not love pre cooked chicken and then reheating it or anything, but I definitely would enjoy um, some fresh grilled chicken that is cold on a salad or wrap so I went ahead and prepped um, I have two chicken tenders that have just salt and pepper and Italian seasoning on them and then the other two have salt and pepper as well as everything but the elote seasoning um, and that way we have different wraps for the week And then whenever I have overripe bananas or bananas that are starting to turn just a little bit, um, I love to slice them up and freeze them for smoothies. I've really been enjoying, since I've had my cold, I've been enjoying um, some fresh smoothies with coconut packets, bananas, spinach, mango, and like a splash of juice. So I wanted to go ahead and get this banana sliced and frozen, and I love putting them in these stasher bags. You can totally wash them in the dishwasher, and they uh, freeze nicely so I love putting them in these bags and freezing up some fruit you can totally portion some ingredients pre-made smoothie packs so that all you have to do is dump them in the blender I'm going to be making some stuffed bell peppers for a meal this week um, and Sydney also enjoys snacking on bell pepper strips so I went ahead and sliced the bell peppers a little bit differently than I usually do for stuffed peppers um, and so I just did a half you know cut down the sides on each and scooped out the seeds and placed that in uh, containers for our stuffed peppers and then I used the sides that were left over and cut those into strips for snacking as like an easy grab and go snack for Sydney. And 
so for actual meal prep, I ended up making a minestrone soup and I love prepping soup ahead of time because soup is one of those things that I enjoy as a leftover. And so we have had it for lunches and for dinner. You can pack so many vegetables and nice healthy ingredients into soups. And so it's just a really nice thing to have, especially when you have a cold or in the winter time when you want something cozy. Um, and, and I can pack it for Sydney lunches, for Sydney's school lunches as well. Um, so I was just making a minestrone soup. I will go ahead and leave a link to uh, my recipe down below. It is in, I believe it's in my fall recipes, um, but it is so simple and it tastes just so delicious. And as you can see, I ended up making this just on the stove because I was prepping all of the other ingredients and kind of ran out of time, but cooking it on the stove legit only takes maybe 20-ish minutes enough to boil the vegetables and make sure they are nice and soft. Um, and I love the homemade soups that you can control your own sodium and ingredients in them. I find canned soups a lot of times. I mean, I have them as staples in my pantry in like a pinch, but I definitely prefer a homemade soup if I can go ahead and do that. And they are very easy to do. So even if you are, you know, a novice uh, in the kitchen and kind of intimidated by cooking, soups are just easy. You throw in all kinds of ingredients and broth and call it a soup. I usually top my minestrone soup with some fresh Parmesan and it is just so cozy and delicious. I went ahead and stored the rest in a large container for meals for a few days this week and it's already been used and delicious. So that is going to do it for my easy meal prep and uh, ingredient prep for the week for two of us. I didn't want to do anything overboard and have too much food left over, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. Oh, 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 oh,